Do you guys see that? Well, hi there. I'm here today with one of the most exciting boxes I have seen in a very long time. And this box comes from Kyle Wilson out in Kansas, and it is full of pure joy. And I'm just super excited to share it with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it. I'm not sure I'm ready for this, but hopefully you are. Very well taped up. This is sort of the last warm time for a while that it could be shipped. And it was ready just in time. Getting to use my handy dandy skeleton tool. Which you may recognize from our tank building video. I have loved it so much. Okay. I don't want to accidentally cut anything inside of this box because this box is far too precious. Okay. Styrofoam, heat pack, still warm. Newspaper. I'm really just curious what's going on out in Kansas. So this is just full of newspapers out of Kansas. can see it and it lives <laughs> oh my 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 okay you're about to see 2018 false water cobra for Clint <laughs> Oh boy, and he's got the lid taped on, which is really smart, because if it gets out in the box, it'll probably get, well, maybe not out of the box, but it could. Oh my goodness. It came. <laughs> oh my. This is better than Christmas. Don't tell Christmas. Okay. My little guy. This guy was an absolutely colossal hatchling, and you probably know I have been looking for a false water cobra for a long time. And ever since, ever since I did my collaboration video with Emily from Snake Discovery and I interacted with hers and I fell in love. I don't usually fall in love with snakes quite like I have fallen in love with this. Oh my, 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 my. He's really here. He's really here, guys. Oh my gosh. He's a little cold, but not alarmingly cold. Oh my, guys. Look at this little baby. Oh, and he's got such a good attitude, at least while he's cold. We'll see how he is when he warms up. But I know Kyle works with them to try to make sure that they have a good attitude. Oh my gosh. He's more beautiful than the pictures and he was so beautiful in the pictures. I kind of had pick of the clutch and I wanted this guy. Oh my gosh. He's marvelous. He is marvelous. <laughs> I love him. Oh my. I just fell in love. I, I don't normally fall in love with snakes this hard. Not since blue-eyed leucistic ball pythons. To me, in general, the things that are great about snakes are sort of, whew, <laughs> are sort of great about lots of snakes. Um, and so I generally just like one that is, you know, pretty, well-behaved, and easy to take care of, you know, but there was something just extra special about false water cobras, almost, almost like what is special about monitor lizards, you know, just something in their eye that is just extra incredible. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. I, this is what I look like when I am absolutely in love. I'm gonna go ahead and get him set up and settled into his enclosure. Oh, he's having a nice first poop with me. 
get him settled into his enclosure so that I can get him feeding before I really handle him too much more. But I am happy with this guy, even though he pooped on me. That's just how we know we're friends. It's not the way I make friends. Thank you for sharing this experience with me. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. We're definitely gonna be featuring these guys a lot more in the future. It'd be fun to watch him grow up. If you have any name suggestions, I'm leaning. Hey, do you guys see that? I just got bit. I just got bit by this false water cobra. That is only the third time I've ever been bit by a snake in my life. So that's exciting. Definitely time to put him back away and discover if he envenomated me or not. <laughs> wow. Uh oh, he's stuck on a little bit of the tape. He's not gonna like this. There, good thing it wasn't strong tape. Definitely gonna put him back away though for a little. He's pooped on me, he bit me, and now I still love him to death. Well, this is the best video I've ever done. I am getting a little bit of stinging, which would lead me to believe I've been envenomated just a little. Yep, yeah, definitely stings. Definitely stings. Maybe I'll leave things running for a little. I need to put you away, buddy. Can I get you back in your cup? Well, I am shaking from a combination of excitement and the fact that I just got tagged by a venomous snake for the first time in my life. Um, yeah, what I got is itching, and I don't think that's really all that uncommon. I, I get itching a lot from even like a crested gecko bite that breaks the skin. I think it's just the irritation of the saliva. But that was definitely a little false water cobra bite right there. Man, do I hope this video is working, because this is a great moment. <laughs> False water cobra! I have one, and a bite. Bite number three for my lifetime. This is now the second snake I own. This and Marlin are the two snakes I own that have, that have bitten me. You're in an exclusive club, dude. And the two snakes that Either, well, one of them is venomous and the other one looks venomous and I've been bit by both and when I got bit by Marlin, it was a little bit alarming too because that looked like, well, I mean, there were just two holes and I was, you know, every time I watch him feed, I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's not a, like a, uh, what do they call it? It's a, a aquatic coral snake. Anyway, there are lots of coral snakes down in South and Central America that have that same banding pattern as Puebloan milk snakes and I thought, well, you know, I'm pretty sure he's not a coral snake, you know, that would be an awfully big surprise. But when he bit me, I, I told the class, because I was in front of the class, I said, if, if I pass out in the next few minutes, I need you to tell the paramedics I've been bitten by a Central American coral snake. Um, but this genuinely is a venomous snake, and he did get me. I'm not sure if these are front teeth or fangs, but uh, I'm definitely feeling something, and... Seems to be coming from this bigger wound, more than the wound on top, what I'm feeling. But it's not a big deal. And if it gets worse, I'll let you know. As always, like and subscribe. We hope to see you real soon.